Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make Elmo balloon holders. On Design Space, we go to Images. In the search box, we click on it, we type in Elmo. And you choose the image you want to work with. I'm choosing the Elmo face layered, which is this one. How I know it's layered, because if it would have been a print and cut, it would have had a printer right here, like this image. Click on the image, insert images. On this screen, we will size the image and I will be sizing it to eight by eight. After we size it, on this side you will notice there's a scissor on each image. That means it will be a cut image. It will not be a print and cut. There's nothing else we need to do here. We just go ahead and make it. On this screen, I want to save as much cardstock, cardstock as I can. So what I'm going to do is first, I need two Elmos. I'll put in the two and apply. Now I'm going to start and change the material size, the cardstock size, because I want to save as much as I can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a six by six. The shadows, I'm going to change it to eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by 11. And the nose. Now, for the actual face, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this image in this mat. I click on the image, I click on the three little dots, move to the other mat, and I'm going to place it with this image right here. We click confirm, and we're going now to move it down, play with it a little bit so it won't touch the upper image, and we are done. Once we're done, we click continue. On this screen, it will automatically connect the machine that you already have. If you connected your machine via USB or Bluetooth, it will appear here. Material set, I have it to cardstock. We're done on this page. Now, next thing you do is you load your mat. Once the mat is loaded, it will indicate that the mat is loaded and you can press go. After this step, we'll be right back so we can go ahead and assemble the two balloon holders. Okay, the images are ready. We have the eight by eight shadow. We have the actual Elmo face. We have the eyes and the nose. We're gonna go ahead and take the Elmo face, try it on first, just to check which way is it that we need to glue. We glue it on. Okay, it goes this way. We go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and start gluing it putting it together. Apply a thin coat of scrapbook glue, which I love. This glue is awesome. I just wait for a couple of seconds, then I'll just go ahead and press down.
I'll just wait for a couple of seconds and I'll just go ahead and press down. We're going to go ahead and take the eyes, try them on first. Apply the thin coat of glue. Then we're going to go ahead and take the nose, thin coat of glue. When you're done, just flip it over and just pour around the cutout so it can go ahead and glue together. After that, we set it aside so it can dry for at least maybe half hour. We take the next one. And go ahead and do the same thing. Start applying the glue and putting it together. The actual shadow has lines you can see them see the nose and the mouth it has lines to guide you where to put the face the eyes and the nose After it dries, we're going to go ahead and take a loop bag, no handle, and we're going to glue the face to the bag. I'm just going to go ahead and apply hot glue to the, j just to the center so the glue won't come out on this side. We take the hard glue and start applying some glue just to the center, the eyes. And we center it. And we go ahead and press it, press it, press it, so that hot glue can go all over the bag. Don't worry if you get a little bit of glue out of the bag, which just happened here. It's fine. Take it off. It comes off pretty fast. Okay. Now the balloon holder is ready. The weight goes inside. You attach two, three, four balloons to the weight. You can use them as centerpieces or candy table. I'm just going to go ahead and finish the other one. Bag is ready. 
here you go guys you have two balloon holders hope you guys like this short tutorial and have a blessed evening and happy crafting any questions please comment below any suggestions please comment below